Okay, roll. Rolling. Rolling. <laughs> <laughs> so normal. You plug that into the electricity. Yes. Then you plug the pedal into yeah. this. Mm -hmm. You turn on this, and then okay. you turn on the machine. Okay. Just okay. the switch on. Yeah. Yes. Now it's resetting and it's on. Mm -hmm. Now any design that you see, you just select. Okay. For example, now it is on the straight. Uh huh. So it will stitch straight. If you want two needle, then you can replace the needle into two needle. Mm -hmm. And it will stitch two needle. Then you can replace to this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then if you want zigzag, you okay. see. If you want other pattern, that's for the edging, right? I think. Yes. Yeah. Any pattern that you see here, you just press, and it will change. Mm. Whatever the light shows, it will stitch that. Ah, okay. Okay. This is the simple, easy way to to know how to stitch. Mm -hmm. Now, for every tailor, when they want to stitch the straight, first at the beginning and end. They want to re-firm that stitching, so that's why they stitch and then they press this, mm -hmm. it will go reverse and then they leave, it will stitch front. Ah, oh, okay. okay. The red button. Exactly. The red button is that's for forward firming. and reverse, like the exactly, car. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. That's one. Now, this one is for the tension of the thread. Mm -hmm. For the normal thread, like these ones, you just leave it at three. Mm -hmm. If you use very thin thread, like plastic or silk, like kind of a silk, mm -hmm. then you toughen it towards four and five. Oh, okay. Okay. In general, just keep between three and three point five. Okay. okay. But if you use very thick thread, mm -hmm. like for jeans, like a very thick one, uh -huh. then you loosen towards two and a half. Okay. Okay. That's the setting. That's called the tension of the thread. Okay. Okay. Now, if you open this. Yeah. There is this, which is for the light. Yeah. You can on, off like that. Uh -huh. Okay. And if it is like, let's say you use a long and you want to change, mm -hmm. you can just spin, remove it. You can find anywhere. Okay? okay. Now this one is for the pressure of the foot. Okay. Okay. So for example, if you want to make it like a little loose. Then you just make it towards one. Oh, okay. But if you want to make it very firm, then you make it towards three. Mm -hmm. Now this is three. Three means it holds very thin fabric as well. Okay. Okay. So this is the setting. This is this is the things. Now here you have two other settings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't touch these. These are for the memories. Mm -hmm. You don't need them. For example, if you want three patterns to stitch in one go, then you have to. I keep changing different modes mm -hmm. but these two are very handy so mm. basically this is the change of the width okay okay and this is the change of the length mm -hmm. okay so for example look at this now this one is this pattern oh yeah okay Easy. so I stitch this it's this pattern yeah the moment I press this so any pattern you choose machine does by default mm -hmm. A length and a width, okay? Okay. But the moment you press this, the light turns on and you can adjust. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. You can adjust the width, the width and, yeah. and the length. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is for the width and this is for the length. Okay. The moment you okay. press, it removes from the default and you can increase the length or the width. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. But if you change normal, it will be off. That means the machine will do it by standard. So, mm. for example, look at this. That would be the normal one. Yes. So, for example, I'll do this and I leave it. So, by normal, it will stitch. Now you look. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I press this. Then I make it Adjust. small, for okay. example, smaller. Uh -huh. See? Oh, yeah. This is big, this is small. And now yeah. if I want to make it... Yes. And now if I want to make it very big, mm -hmm. so I put full on 7. Mm. Look, this is this is yeah. medium by default. This is a very thin, small, and this is a very big one. Yeah. And the same way, you can press this and adjust the length of it. Mm -hmm. If you want to make it big one, for example, look. This is a big pattern. Oh, okay. This is the length of it, this is the width of it. Mm. Now if I press again towards one. See? 
mm. this is to put the gap between them small but if yeah. you press again it will go by default yeah any other design same format mm -hmm. just select, select and you can stitch lights, yeah just select and stitch that's mm. it okay yeah this part is clear right yes now if you open this there are mm -hmm. other things mm -hmm. so i got you three set of needles mm -hmm. which is number 16 number 14 and number 11. Mm -hmm. number 11 is for very thin one like mm -hmm. for silk or very one layer of fabric mm -hmm. number 14 is for normal like even mm -hmm. this one even this one even yeah. shirts mm -hmm. even shirts are number 14. now for jeans or leather it's 16. Mm -hmm. if the leather is a very thick one then you use number 18. Mm -hmm. okay and this one is the double needle mm -hmm. double needle is for something like this yeah Zinc so like uh exactly. edging yes like the edging yeah. two, yes so you change it and you will do the double needle. These mm -hmm. are other foot for other purposes. For example, it will show here the zip mm -hmm. and it says I. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it says E. Mm -hmm. You see it's written here E. Yeah. And that means this. Mm. It is written also here E. Mm. That means you need to change this foot and then you will be able to stitch zip with mm. it. Okay. Okay? And that's why there's letters already. Exactly. It is showing yeah. which one does what. So, for example, if you want to do overlocks, then you can... So, all of these are the footings, this one. Presser foot, which is yeah. very, very important, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, for example, this one is the buttonhole. Mm -hmm. You know, one side is the button, the other side is the buttonhole, right? Mm -hmm. This yes. is doing the buttonhole. Okay. For these... Like these ones here. Exactly. Yeah, that one. The the holes. Exactly, yeah. the holes. For these ones, wow. it's general for all the machines. Like in YouTube, there are many tutorials that teach you how to use the presser. Yeah, I saw this one in the YouTube. Yeah. Yes. So the presser okay. foots are easy. You can just replace them by pressing this red button mm. at the back. Okay. The, at the back, there is a red button. You, the moment you press, it releases the foot. Ah, okay. Then you can put another foot. To change see? it. Yes. Okay. You put this bar exactly under this gap, like this, mm -hmm. and you pull this down, and mm -hmm. it will lock. Okay. See? As simple as that. Oh, okay. And that's it. And this one is the automatic winder. So, for example, now see if now if this one is finished, the thread for this one is finished. Mm -hmm. You will refill it. So, for example, yeah. this is finished. Okay. Yep. You just remove it like this. Uh huh. Ah, see? okay. There's, there's that one. Okay. If this is finished, you just place it here. Okay. And turn right. Okay. And then you press. It will automatically refill. Okay. Okay. After it's refilled, turn left, remove it, and put it back. Okay. And how you put it back? It's super, super important. Always the thread should be on the left side. Mm -hmm. You see, it is on the left. It should not be on the right. It should be on the left. Yes. So okay. you just put it back. Okay, and from this small gap, you see this small gap? Yeah. From this small gap, you bring it like this to here. Mm. Okay? That's for the threading of the bottom side. Mm. Now for the upper bobbin, look how that this one. is, yes, this is how you will do it. First you put it, okay? Then this is step one. Okay. It went in, right? This is step two. Okay. I'm coming like this, like this, and it is going here. Okay. You see? See, it went there. Yeah, yeah. And now okay. it is coming here. Okay. Okay. And between this big steel and the small steel. Yeah. In between, yeah. Yes. And then from here, you put it up. You saw? From here, I took it re a U turn. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going up and I'm putting inside this like this. Okay. You saw? Mm -hmm. And that's it. You just put it inside this. inside this okay. and then inside this hook mm -hmm. and there is another hook which if you want to use two thread then mm -hmm. you will put inside that hook okay? okay now the last step there is automatic threading okay so you can put it like this inside the needle yeah but if you don't see how to put it then there is automatic threading which you can just pull this down mm -hmm. and you just put inside this so I just put it inside this, mm -hmm. and then I'm pressing this once, okay. and then slowly I release this up, and mm -hmm. it is automatically inside the thread. 
Wow. You see? And then from the back, you just pull it. That's it. Wow. Okay? No need to... No need to spend one hour <laughs> to put it inside that. Yeah. That's why okay. it has uh, so many features. That's why. Then the last step, you just hold this with your left hand. And uh -huh. with your right hand, you have to spin this. Uh -huh. So the needle will go in and it will pull the lower thread out from here. Mm. Okay, now look. I'm holding this and okay. I'm spinning this one time. Needle went in. Needle came out. And now I'm pulling. You see the thread came out. Mm -hmm. Now I'm pulling both of the thread like this. And I'm closing this. Okay. Now I put inside the foot and it's ready to stitch. So you just put any fabric, for example, you lock it from the back, so it is locked now. Mm -hmm. When you release, you can put the fabric. I'm sure she knows this one because it's similar for all. Mm -hmm. And you just put, for example, this is my favorite one. Okay. Sorry, it's still on that. And if you want to change the length, you can make it smaller. See? Oh. That's it. Damn, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I think okay. I made the right decision to buy this machine. <laughs> yes, that's what I said.